Good day. Welcome to Thunderbirds News. Hello, I'm Michelle McFarland. I go to Guy Perkins High School, and today I will tell you some things that have to do with the news. First, I will talk about the tornado. On Sunday of last week, there was a tornado in the state of Arkansas, not far off from this school. Everyone was on edge come Sunday morning. One of our teachers had lost contact of some of their family members in Bologna, but she still came to school to teach us kids. Next, I will talk about the Arkansas State Tasting. <laughs> it is rumored to be that this previous geometry test was going to be the last one on paper. Next year, it will be on all computers. The Arkansas State Test will be the same hours and days, just not on the paper. Another thing I will go over is one of the staff at Guy, Mr. Rippey, is telling us that we are getting new computers. These computers are called Chromebooks. We will be getting 150 brand new laptops for our school. These computers will replace the old ones, but they will be dumb terminals, meaning that everything you do on the computer will be taking place somewhere else, like the motherboard, and show up on your screen. Also, the seniors will be graduating soon. The ceremony will be taking place May 16th at 8 p.m. in the Thunderbird Complex. Only people with invitations made by the seniors are allowed to participate. On May 5th, there will be an academic award banquet in the cafeteria. Some students have been invited as honored guests, so they may attend. Every other person who wishes to participate may pay, must pay $11 for food. Food. All honored guests may have the made the highest grade in one class of their classes. Also, they will be getting an award in that class. That was yesterday. Now, national international news with Paula. <clears throat> Good day. This is Paula, and I'm going to talk about national and international news. Starting with national news, I'm going to talk about the tornado in Arkansas. A massive tornado crossed central Arkansas on Sunday, killing at least 16 people and injuring other 100. The events occurred about 10 miles west of Little Rock at around 7 p.m. and moved northwest at least 30 miles, said the National Weather Service. The most affected zones were Bologna and Mayflower, almost destroying both towns, neither of them with more than 100. 1,000 people. In Bologna, it's like a deja vu to the tornado of 2011 that destroyed the school which was being rebuilt until it was hit and completely destroyed again by the tornado on Sunday. Right now, all the tension is focused on the reconstruction of both towns. On international news, I'm going to talk about the airplane MH370 vanished in Malaysia. Since the disappearance of the plane the past March 8th with 239 passengers abroad, Rescuers have done anything they could to find it. On Monday, the search was called off and underwater hunt will be expanded to include a vast swath of ocean flood that may take at least eight months to search, according to the Australian officers. Until the moment, not a single piece of confirmed device from the Malaysia airplane flight 370 has been recovered. Right now, the best lead they have is the Abbott Bluefin 21 submarine. They also notice that there is a possibility that the MH370 may never appear, but for the sake of the families, they will do as much as possible. Now, with us, Kobe Clinton and Sport News. Hello, sports fans. We'll kick off with our sports segment with news from the NFL offseason. Linebacker for the Dallas Cowboys, DeMarcus Ware, was released after failed contract negotiations. Ware is the all-time leader in sacks for the Cowboys, but now Ware is a Denver Bronco. Alongside Vaughn Miller, Denver's pass rush could be lethal, unlike last year where the team as a whole could only muster 41 sacks, while the Carolina Panthers led the league in sacks with 60. In more offseason news, Michael Vick is heading to New York. The New York Jets, that is. He and Geno Smith, the second-year quarterback, will be competing for the starting role. Head coach Rex Ryan has said that he will not be starting Vic immediately, 
He'll give Gino a fair chance to prove himself more dominant. Ryan has said that the decision will come either before or after the preseason. New York could become a powerhouse if they were to use the 13 draft picks well. The 2014 baseball season has officially begun. The favorites to make the World Series include the Washington Nationals, the Toronto Blue Jays, the San Francisco Giants, and the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim, although baseball is unpredictable. We know this from the 2011 season in which the season came down to the last day and kicked the Boston Red Sox and Atlanta Braves out of the playoffs and put the Tampa Bay Rays and the St. Louis Cardinals in the playoffs. We would just like to give a good luck to all the teams competing for the World Cup this year. This year's World Cup will be held in Brazil, and the favorite to win the World Cup is Brazil, who holds the most World Cup wins in history and look to win it again with their star player Neymar, who leads the team in goals this season. And finally, the NBA playoffs are in full swing. The Miami Heat are a strong contender to three-peat in the NBA Finals. The San Antonio Spurs are favorites to win in the West, so we could have a rematch from last year's fantastic seven-game NBA Finals series. We'll see what happens later this month. Good luck to all the teams. This concludes our Thunderbirds news station broadcast. We'll see you tomorrow.